Yikes. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Well, it's not morning here. It's about 7.30, but I have with me this, this, yes. Just some presentation bits. It comes with the standard ball joint coupler style attachment. So if you have other things that will accommodate this particular size of ball, you can put things on here that aren't the default cradle. That said, this is a nice cradle. I like it. I trust it. I'm going to use it. Uh, but if your phone would not, for example, accommodate the size of this cradle, which I think it's three and a quarter inches according to the back of the box, then you can use a different cradle, one that will accommodate your device. The part that goes over the rear view mirror is fairly strong. I, I like it. Well, we're going to try it out. All right, so getting that on there, not a big deal. Pretty easy, actually. Um, boy, I don't super like the, the possibility that this could be considered a distraction, though. It's something hanging from your rear view mirror, and again, it's going to depend on, like, state laws and things like that. I don't even know if there are state laws against things hanging off of your rear view mirror. Well, yeah, I do know that, actually. I happen to know. Wow. It, uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the lighting up here in the corner. Hold on, is that, is that just the, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Uh, and I could also turn this around and get much better capture resolution and frame rate with my front camera, but that front cam, that, that would expose the screen to the world, so I don't, I don't want to do that because that would be a little bit strange. Oh, it occurs to me as well that this makes a very good forward-facing uh, camera mount as well. So that's, that's pretty awesome. That is a thing. video made it uh, while I was on the road. The car is very loud and there was just rain hammering the glass windshield so it was a lot of noise and I know from experience that the noise that gets picked up in here is too much for the camera phone's little microphone to handle. But I will say this, for 488, this thing's awesome. It is really, really great. Um, I feel like it's just kind of my opinion. There's slightly less shaking where, where when driving on the road where that's concerned than there is mounting into the top of my dashboard. That could just be placebo. I'm not totally sure about that. But yeah, I, I don't have a problem with it at all. It's not gonna fall. I feel like my phone is securely held in place. I don't think it's gonna slip out. I don't think that there's any sort of mechanical issue that would cause it to, to fail or anything. There's multiple points of articulation here. There's not only the ball joint and your ability to rotate the phone or device within the ball joint to adjust the angle of view, but there's also this little guy you can twist in the back so that you can bring this closer up or further back. And 
I don't know why you'd want to do that necessarily, but maybe your 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 rear view mirror is, is shaped a little differently or it's up against your windshield a little differently and you might need to do that. And the, uh, I didn't really get this on camera that well, but the inside and the outside of that are kind of like sawtoothed. So they do a really good job of walking together once you tighten that knurled thumb knob down. But uh, yeah, five bucks, absolutely. This thing was worth it and it's gonna stay on my rear view mirror in the off chance that I do decide to record anything on the road where the sound is not completely drowned out by things like engine and rain. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.